and today we're making pasta with oil, garlic, and white wine. So first of all, I'm going to cut up my flat leaf parsley. This is Italian flat leaf. I have garlic ready over there. Want plenty of parsley. Anytime you're using garlic as a main ingredient, you want parsley to accompany it if you can because it balances it out, the flavor of the garlic. It will, it will kind of soften it a little bit. And besides, parsley is really good for you. It has a lot of vitamin C minerals. It's good to cook with. So I'm going to start with, this is the garlic, chopped up. I'm going to use about half of this. So you see it's quite a bit, but I have a whole pound of pasta. So we want to have plenty of garlic. Actually, may, I'm going to dump the whole thing in there. So the thing about cooking with garlic, you have to be careful, is it cooks really quickly. And so you don't want it to brown, because if it browns, it gets bitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and just saute it just a little bit. I'm keeping a pretty close eye on this, but I also want to add, with my parsley, some lemon. And I'm going to zest the lemon. So I have my little zester here, but I'm going to squeeze them first. I'm going to put my parsley in. Oh, it smells so good. And we're going to take our lemon juice, put that in. The zest. By the way, this is the basis for linguine and clam sauce. Or, if you want, you can get it even add different things. You could put shrimp in this. You can put chicken, pre-cooked chicken. You can buy at the supermarket. I'm going to zest this one too. You can buy the pre-cooked chicken at the supermarket or pre-cook it yourself. You know what? On the, the beginning of the week, I like to cook a lot of different proteins and keep them on hand. And then I, then I just change them out the sauces that go with it. So that becomes very, you know, you get a little more creative that way. So this is the way you want it to look. And as you can see, there's no brown spots. It has an amazing smell. It needs a little salt and pepper. I have some kosher salt here. At this point, depending on what you end up doing with it, you got to take it easy on the salt. Don't go too much. So that's kosher salt. You can use sea salt. I really don't like regular white salt. I prefer these kinds of salts. And here's the wine. It's a cup of white wine. I'm going to turn the heat up. And we're going to let that, the alcohol burn off. So by the time we're done, we're going to toss it with our pre-made linguine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the, the linguine back in the pan. This is only three quarters of the way cooked. And I kept, this is another little trick, I kept some of the pasta water. So, okay, so now it's time to put the pasta in. This is a whole pound of pasta. I'm not going to put any protein in, but I'm going to top it off with some Parmesan cheese. When when you use seafood, by the way, don't use cheese because a true Italian <laughs> would never put cheese in seafood pasta because seafood has its own natural salinity. So if you want to look cool, don't put, you know, if you're at an Italian restaurant, for instance, and they come along and they ask you if you want cheese and you've got seafood pasta, don't do it. They're going to think you don't know what's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to plate it, put it in this beautiful pasta bowl from Italy. It's a real Italian pasta bowl. There we go. And kind of wiggle it around. You've got your 
This is just a uh, potato peeler. This makes a nice presentation, just sh shards of this directly peeled. There you go. So that was really easy. I'm Chef Melinda, and I just made a wonderful dinner for you with pasta, olive oil, garlic, and wine. Mm -hmm.